Cold. You know, liquor has a negative connotation and food has a positive connotation. But I believe that everybody, and they represent human nature. You know, it's a representation of human nature. So it's me expressing what I think is the basic thing that runs through us all, which is a little bit of food and a little bit of liquor, a little bit of sense, a little bit of nonsense, a little bit of intelligence and a little bit of stupidity, um, a little bit of uh, righteousness, a little bit of not so righteous blue strip club action. Um, but we made a wallet, the preacher, the thief. Uh, you know, everyone has the, depending on what the situation is and depending upon what they're trying to achieve, uh, you know, they will, you know, save a baby at the expense of a train full of people dying. And then it would, the reverse, it would kill a train full of people to save a baby, depending on what the circumstance is. Um, and everybody's made it. And in one instance, there'll be a hero. And the next instance, there'll be you know, a terrorist. You know? um, so I, I, I see that nobody can escape that. Nobody I've met has ever escaped that. Nobody I've ever researched has ever escaped that, that, uh, that paradox of human nature. Martin Luther King. God rest his soul, Malcolm X, you know, uh, James Baldwin, Gandhi, you know, everyone has had, you know, certain hypocritical instances. Um, but I don't really dwell in the, in the, uh, in either or. I dwell in both because I believe that it's both. That's why it's food and liquor. You know, that was a good answer. <laughs> bye, bye. So the Great American Rap album is actually the concept. Uh, America is the, con is, the, is the character in the story, as much as the cool is in the first and the cool. Right? Um, so I'm basically trying to tell the story of the American experience, of American history, American phenomenon, American society, Americana, um, and all that that entails. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so it's, it's that and it's a rap. It's songs that are specifically just about rapping. You know, rap records with dope beats no hooks, verses, verses, you know. So, however the fans choose to take it, it is what it is, but the point of it is to kind of tell this American, the great American story. So you said, or I was quoted saying, 97% uh, of hip hop is terrible, but you went on to praise Drake and Slaughterhouse. Just want to kind of get your reasoning behind praising those two. Yeah, you um, definitely read a blog. And yes. <laughs> I read these blogs, I'm telling you, it's the, it's, it's, it's the devil. Um, <laughs> I, I, prior to prior to saying 97% of the hip hop is terrible, I said that there's no substance. It's technically good, the beats are dope, the rhymes are witty, they're clever, the, the image is right, the photos look great, the videos are beautiful, but there's no substance. So 90%, 97% of hip hop is terrible when it comes to having substance within it. Um, and that was the thing. And you know, with that, I praised more than Drake. That that's what the blog that you read chose to focus on. Um, but I think that people like Drake have substance in their music. Drake has found a way to, and I'm not saying all of it, the same same thing with all of Slaughterhouse's music. But I think there is a certain level of substance when you compare it to, you know, a majority of the music that's out there. There are people who are in the mainstream who have substance, and there's a ton of people not in the mainstream who have a bunch of substance, and vice versa. You have a bunch of people. And not outside the mainstream who have no substance in their music. And there's you know, people in the mainstream who have a little bit of my substance in their um, music. It was just me personal. To me, I take, and that's the thing, is that for me, I speak personally, but it, it gets taken as a professional thing. Um, but yeah, I still stand behind it. I think that 97% of the hip hop, you know, lack is terrible when it comes to music containing substance. You bomb shelters down saying like you gonna you know you'll be done after this, but so was Jay Z, so was too short. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really done, you know, really done in the sense of uh, industrial, you know. Um, I'll still make music. Uh, it'll just be in a more artistic space, um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, just a smaller, 
you know, not necessarily needing this, the 70 city promotion tour with 100 interviews every day kind of a thing. Definitely won't need the radio. Um, <laughs> but it'll still be there to just be in a, I guess, a smaller dose, but a, very, a much more potent dose. You know, this, this, this industry, you know, it has a barrier, it has a limitation. I don't necessarily want to do this for the next 10 years, you know. So, it's, it's just that I still want to make music, but not in this commercial space. Free to do what you want to do. Yeah, man. And like, just regular life. Just regular right. life. Just, man, regular. 